Hi everyone, welcome back to Java Express Academy. In today's session, I'm going to explain how to remove duplicates from a string. Okay, previously, we already explained this problem statement using Java 8 style. If you see in our playlist, okay, let me open our playlist here. If you see coding aid problems, there is somewhere we find duplicate elements in Java. Three easy methods using streams and collections here. But in interview room, when they ask, I don't want to use any Java 8, Java 8, how to achieve the solution? Okay, now number one, by using a set, we can do by using collections has set we can able to perform okay and to remove the duplicates from a string here this is one number two by using a boolean array by using these approaches we can solve this problem or using java 8 streams with the help of the distinct keyword these three approaches we can perform already this approach we explain in our coding list just you can go ahead and watch those programs as well now what does it mean now imagine your example okay maybe uh, your input string maybe this is your input now here this is your input the requirement can be in any approach here order should be maintained here see maybe a lot of people are thinking i want to sort the string then i will remove the duplicates this is some one kind of approach here maybe when interview room asking they can i want to maintain the same order my output can require like this pro and okay if you see programming g and r is not repeated a not repeated m repeated then i n okay that's it now see here g is duplicated and m is duplicated this is your output this is one approach where you can able to do this is called removing duplicates from a string here same question i don't want duplicates remaining only i need duplicate number of ways they can ask this example first we'll try to solve this problem using these two approaches and third approach you can go ahead and watch the video as well Okay, guys, we are expecting at least 100 likes for each video on coding questions. For you only, we are teaching you as a lot of students are asking. So you guys need to support us at least every video one like is required here, guys. And comment is thumbs up symbol is also required. What you guys are thinking on these programs is really helping to you as interview process or not, we should be aware also. So that I can do more and more programs it's up to you guys okay uh, youtubers only can um, uh, we can popular our videos also to your friends or colleagues and everyone as well okay now have a look here what i'm doing now let me start a fresh project now already we have a previously sorting we have now here only not a sorting duplicates this is using java 8 now i'm not using any java 8 so let me go for another package structure normal uh, string approach I am going, okay? Uh, it is going already available using strings. Let me do, this is another package. It's a manual approach here, okay? Now, let me create a remove duplicates, okay? Now, using a uh, hash set. Now, tell me inside the collections to maintain, okay? Basically, to maintain order and remove duplicates means we will use a linked hash set. What it will do? To maintain order and remove duplicates by using this approach here. Using this approach. How to perform? And then we need to convert. We need to convert set back. Okay. Set back to string this is the outcome is required now see here first i want to create a now again you can ask me you are you are using java 8 no this is simple collections i am not using java 8 here okay these are all kind of a different types of collections a normal approach also i will go ahead and uh, explain you as well guys okay linked hash map set 
okay here i want to take as a character it is not like a list of strings only single string it contain characters here remember this point guys okay now let me take linked hash set okay now the generic type is a character here so i want to iterate my loop for the string i want to convert a character how to convert first you need a string here so what i will do let me apply string str equals to uh, programming same thing let me provide it to here now this is a string i want to convert into an array see char array once you convert a char array i can easily add into the set how to add it set dot add of ch just i'm adding the characters now if you see if you try to print this set you have only uh, everything is removed see here right click run as java application are you able to see p r o g a m i n are you able to see there is a insertion order is maintaining duplicates also removed but output required as a string i don't want like a array by comma separated i don't want so to do that activity what i will do let me create one builder object string builder object let me take result equals to new string builder okay once we have what i can do i want to again convert c char character into set just i want to iterating here by using the for loop by using the for loop then again what i can do from this result i can append your characters here append then that is your output result dot to string method that's it now right click run as java application are able to see this is your output now if you print as a java okay j a v should be display here are able to see now this is one approach you can go ahead and the it is basically maintaining n times it is iterating the time complexity is using is nothing but order of n here guys this is also important uh, whenever we have a time we will try to make time complexities as well on our programs here this is kind of a order of n time complexity here this is one approach here okay now let me go for the second approach okay remove duplicates using boolean array okay you can try to provide more solutions until he should satisfy order here to solve this problem basically boolean array using boolean array if you see in our programming style whatever characters you have alphabets numbers numeric everyone knows but instead of we have a special characters also there we can call as a ascii characters here ascii characters we have basically ascii characters is 0 to 255 characters we have 0 to 255 characters we have guys one more thing we have our official website we have in this website we have a n number of courses are available inside if you want to purchase spring boot and microservice live sessions means this is the course you want to become a react developer spring security devops core java all courses are available you can purchase the course here and you can watch the videos as well okay and a lot of people mostly the combo course are choosing we have a lot of discount also going on this combo course interested students can ping in our whatsapp number we will mention you uh, uh, in the chart window guys okay in the description box we will add so you can we are just have a look now this is our website guys javaexpressacademy.com Okay. go through this link and have a look if anything is suitable for you you can purchase guys okay okay let me come to our uh, remove the duplicates here how to remove the duplicates now see here what i will do let me try to create a static method so that it will be easy for us also public static string output is string remove duplicates okay now i am taking one parameter string parameter i am taking here okay uh, now here 
see i want to define a boolean array this is one here now if you see yeah, by any case any string if you provide any character we have only 255 max you can provide if you fill this array multiple times if you see maybe 256 or 255 anything is fine one i am adding it here see what i am doing i will iterate this string each character i want to fill into this array if any character is basically uh, repeated then we'll get to know that is a okay uh, duplicate string we will get to know here that is a unique characters you will get it here unique characters see here how to do this approach i want to create one string builder object okay string builder object result equals to new string builder here just i created one empty string see i am iterating the loop here okay character c str dot to char array okay i created one char array see here if if i want to check this character is available into boolean array or not okay how to check seen already this character is available or not if character is available you should not do anything right if character is not available okay suppose character not available so what i want to do i want to store into this character as it true it's a boolean right true second time same character came what will happen condition will not execute so those conditions second time it should be fail now means see if a character is not available in this array that means that is a unique character see here result dot append that character i'm appending if you see now uh, that's it if you see first character what it is suppose our example is programming p p is not available see in this p is not available true condition is true came added into this p and it is stored into a p ascii character there is some ascii character will be there that number it will be stored okay uh, second time again it is running 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 suppose g came okay m came guys okay m already stored into some array second time m came what will happen here character is found what will happen it will ignore it will ignore already character previously m is added now this time character is available so this condition will not execute it will come out for the m i n g also already available here if you search in the google ascii characters here ascii characters here see uh, if you find out a small p lower case let us 70 so what will happen first time inside this boolean array there is scene of 70 okay it will be store equal to p already first execution okay in nowhere it is happen suppose m required here this is a main it's not repeated right where is the m m m this is not the correct characters or what 6d okay 69 there is a m no guys this is not the right characters let me keep another one ascii characters of m uh, see here ascii principal characters extended access, uh, access characters ascii control characters here see here guys main are alphabets number special symbols 30 to 125 these are all the remaining things if you see the m109 okay your array is here now what will happen at 109 first time m it will be stored here this condition is true it will store second time again m came it will verify okay already available so no need to execute this logic then it will jump that's it now this is your outcome now system dot out okay not it's a result uh it's a function right now return 
result dot to string that's it completed done now see here system dot out dot print ln remove duplicates it's a interesting guys basically okay programming here now right click run as java application see here output is same here also output is same same problem statement we can perform in multiple ways okay you should able to explain properly in interview room which approach you can go ahead with without duplicates and without okay this is the one i mean using predefined functions without predefined functions here as well okay so that is all if you like this video please one like guys from your end so that it will be uh, more encouragement for us also to do more videos for everyone okay thank you guys thank you very much see you in the next lecture